Today, we're going to discuss the types of statistical tests and how to solve them in PSPP. For this presentation, we're going to use PSPP to solve for the statistical computation and your Excel for the data encoding. And all problems in this book, in this presentation, are found in this book, Modern Business Statistics with Microsoft Excel. As a review, these are the steps in hypothesis testing. Number one, state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Number two, choose the level of significance. Number three, select the appropriate test statistic and establish the critical region. Number four, collect the data and compute the value of the test statistic from the sample data. And number five, make the decision. So in this, we have your man with me you test. So the man with me you test is used to compare differences between two independent loops when the dependent variable is either ordinal or continuous but not normally distributed. Okay, so man with me you test is a non-parametric test. So we are not concerned with the normality of the distribution. So, for example, you may use the man with new test with the understand extent of customer satisfaction towards selected street food business says where customer satisfaction is measured on an at least ordinal scale. Therefore, differs based on gender. So, your dependent variable would be your customer satisfaction, and your independent variable will be, will be your gender, which has two groups, male and female. Alternately, you may use the man with new test to understand whether knowledge and financial literacy measured on a continuous, continuous scale dif differ based on course. So the dependent variable will be your knowledge and financial literacy, and your independent variable will be your course, which has two groups, business and non-business. So the man with new test is often considered as the non-parametric alternative to the independent t-test. So it's non-parametric because we do not assume that the data is normally distributed, or at least it does not care. Okay. So assumptions for the man with new test: the dependent variable should be measured at the ordinal or ratio level. So for or for ratio level, so you have your customer yeah. satisfaction, intelligence, or weight. Yeah, that's ratio. Then like like scale um, for ordinal, so most likely to less likely here. If you're going to rate from one to five, so that's usually your ordinal. And the independent variable should consist of two categorical, uh, two categorical independent groups. So let's say be sex, so that's your male or female, then senior uh, senior high school level, so you have grade eleven or grade twelve. So that's two categorical independent groups. In assumption 3, there should be independent observation, meaning we're comparing two unrelated groups. So your respondent should not belong to both groups at the same time. So you cannot be both male or female. You can also be both grade 11 and grade 12. So the dependent variables are not normally distributed for each group of independent variables. So we do not check for normality. So what at the sum, it should be at least 30 respondents or of those assumptions. So in PSPP, encode data for your group 1 and group 2 in PSPP, so your dependent variable and independent variable. Click on Analyze, so non-parametric statistics, TK independent samples t test. Okay? So it will automatically run one with me if there are only two if there are only two groups. So in defined groups, enter group 1 as the lower limit and group 2 as the upper limit. And interdependent variable as interdependent variable as your test variable. So for example problem, samples of starting annual salaries for individuals entering the public accounting and financial planning professions. Monthly salaries are shown in thousands of pesos. Use an alpha equals 0 0.05 level of significance and test the hypothesis that there is no difference between the starting annual salaries of public accountants and financial planners. Okay. So our null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the starting annual salaries of public accountants and financial planners. Of course, the alternate hypothesis is that there is significant difference between the starting annual salaries of public accountants. The level of significance is 0 0.05. The test statistic to be used is my weekly test. Okay, because 
interval or ratio ang starting ano salaries and there are two groups and we are not assuming the normality of the respondents and so the critical value is that if the t value is less than 0 0.05 so that's your critical range of okay so now we go to your test statistic so this is now your there are 10 respondents for each so 20 so you do not assume normality okay so you can include that one is in this manner and then of course your data set here so in tspt you simply include profession and have starting salary And the decimal value is zero, and this is nominal. This is scale since it's a it's in ratio interval. Okay, the starting salary is nine so one. So that's one. Okay, then in your data view. We encoded this one already in this manner, then we simply copy this one. And we paste this one in. Oops. Okay. So let's have one for public account plan. For two, let's have financial plan. So let's do that again. So ten and two. And if you want to see if that's correct, so you just show hide value and wealth. And analyze non-parametric statistics. Then you have k independent samples since this is man with unit test. Okay. Then the grouping variable would be the profession. The starting salary would be your test variable. And you define your groups. Mm -hmm. So the lower limit would be public account. Uh, then you have your upper limit, which is then financial planner. Mm -hmm. Since this is man with me, then for test time, you just click with Scalwalis each test since. This is for um, this is for several independent samples, but it will only compute for two since we have only two in your grouping bar variables. So just click OK. And this is now the result. So our, our symptomatic sync is 0 0.017, which is less than 0 0.05. So there is significant difference between Okay. between the starting salary of your public accountants and financial planners in favor of public accountants since they have the higher need. Okay. So that's how we do it. Anyway, since there are only two professions, one and two, so this is actually a money test. Okay, do even do for scalwalis na Okay, so that's... 13.65 for mean for public accountants, so there is significant difference in favor of starting salary in favor for public accountants. So this is my meeting.